Hello again, welcome back to Rainy Day Let's Play. I'm Solon, and this is System Shock 2. So, we're finding a key card now. We actually... We're finding a key card off of Grassy to get into the crew quarters so that I believe we can get a key to go downstairs. I'm pretty sure that's that's where we're at. Because we're still trying to restore power to the elevator and to do that we have to go downstairs to get to the maintenance shaft to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Meanwhile, that would be the voice of Xerxes who is kind of chiding us as we run around Xerxes' innards. Uh, Xerxes is the ship's AI and we're kind of making him mad by being alive somehow, or something. So in our last episode, we talked about, uh, we, we noticed that there's a whole lot of these systems between, that, that follow up between System Shock 2, the game we're playing now, and Bioshock, the game made by the same people, Ken Levine and Irrational Games. And, oh, you can put the surgical units... Oh! If you find a surgical unit and a partially used thingamajigger, like a gurney-looking thing, you can put them together and make yourself a healing station. That auto-heals you up for the cost of five nanites. That's pretty sweet. But we uh, have these... Oh, no, turret. Turret, turret, turret. Just run in there. Oh, someone, uh, someone attempted to attack a door with legs, I believe, from the look of the situation. Oh no, those are, what is that, monkey? <laughs> the monkey's attack? Oh, oh, the monkey's attack. So we, oh my gosh, I cannot believe there are monkeys that are attacking us in this game. That's amazing. Apparently they're attacking us with their psychic powers. Because why not test on monkeys when dealing with crazy psychocerebral magic witchcraft powers? Oh, there are just monkeys all over this place. This is just absolutely awful. So, the, the questions that we are asking to complicate this is that how do you have these, what does it mean really to have these redundant systems like having turrets and cameras as surveillance systems? This is both in Bioshock and in System Shock 2. How do we have things like the wrench as a similar weapon between the two? Or even this, we have the, the reconstruction machine as a redundant mechanic that is in both System Shock 2 and Bioshock. They're ghosts. So, did she, I think she just warned us, Hey, you're going to see ghosts. That's very polite of her. <laughs> okay, so the monkeys are shooting death beams at us, and that is absolutely awful. Also, that camera was being a nuisance. It's pretty hard to see where cameras are and where they're hiding. They don't really make themselves seen. They kind of sometimes blend into walls in different ways. They have the green glowing light on the front that turns yellow and red, but other than that, it's kind of tricky, especially if you don't have anything to shoot it with. I'm trying to sneak up on a monkey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's our ghosty friend that we were warned about. And some more nanites picked up, some cash money basically. And another PDA to listen to. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? Right? In the interest of science? What about the interests of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? 
Well, I mean, it's not necessarily about the crap. We can kind of just put it outside. That's probably the more thing <laughs> that we are testing on animals in space. Sketchy stuff. Okay, so this is a radiated room. So we're just going to try to run through here and not get killed. It looks like we take damage as we are radiated and that we get more radiated over time. And oh, this room cleans us off. also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Huh, okay, so they're telling us that there's a replicator in the crew lounge. It's kind of cool that these little messages are not only, like, helpful for the narrative and for flavor of the game, but also give you helpful information if you're paying attention to them, which I am not usually. Oh, so we're in a, another... The ICU is radiated. That's horrible. Okay, so we are actually still radiated despite not being in the room. And apparently we keep taking damage from that. And it doesn't look like... Oh, there's a bench. Oh, this is what we're getting. Hopefully it'll be something helpful or else we just wasted a lot of health. Sketchy. The parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject. Classic alien. If I remove it, it could kill the kid if I leave it. Final diagnosis. Taking taking cues directly from the alien series. But unfortunately, he's 67 trillion miles away. As that is what the xenomorphs use to pseudo reproduce. Why do you persist? So that's the ship AI is, is questioning why we resist. And these cats have shotguns, which is the worst of everything as far as I'm concerned. They're using jammed shotguns, which means that I can't do anything because I don't have a repair skill high enough to fix that. Although I can unload them, that's kind of cool. Hang on to the bullets for whatever reason I'd want to do that. Oh, I heard a turret. That's bad news bears for us. Because I do not have anything to take that out with. And I don't even have psi powers. I can't even use that right now. Oh, well, we've got a pistol with eight bullets. This might be just enough to take care of the turret. Although it's a huge waste of ammo. But it'll have to do. Come on. Only three more bullets. Oh, this is not going to work. Wait, no. No, we can reload. Yes, four more. Perfect. Okay, we just need to not miss. Nice. Nice. 12 shots. So there's all of our ammo. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought this through. How did you get down there? Oh no. The hits keep coming. Nope, that's an information thingy. There it is. Awesome. There's probably one right around the corner too inside of there, but... Not really that important where you hit those, as long as you do it. So, from a... Uh, I talked about the uh, the systems being similar between all the games, and that brings up a lot of questions, but what about the aesthetics, too? Don't forget that you have these, like, drinks, or hypodermic needles, or replicators all being used both in the year 2114 and the year 1960. 
So that's a like really cool testament to the design of both games being that now it can kind of seem like Bioshock just wholesale copied System Shock 2 in a lot of its design, but I don't know if that's really fair. I think a better way to to talk about it is that essentially what you have here is game design itself as branding. Where similar to Oh, poor guy. Similar to, like, a Elder Scrolls series, which are all the same games and all definitely have redundant systems. These are not the same series or the same canon. Oh, you're... Oh, alright, I, I deserve that. That's okay, it's really not a big deal, especially if we climb up here. Although, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of guys patrolling around for me now. I don't have any weapons or anything to take out a camera with, so... I'm kind of just stuck for now, and... I'll have to listen to that annoying beeping noise. But that's way cool! Usually, when you think of, like, branding and image and these kinds of marketing tools, you think of... Uh, posters, or you think of characters, or you think of art assets. Maybe even like, maybe even like a, a heads-up display when it comes to games, where you'll have a like a redundant heads-up display throughout a series, but never like wholesale game mechanics that follow through between different games. And so that's where it'll be really interesting to see how. Bioshock Infinite turns out, and what parts of it are kept, and what parts of the game design are not kept. Because, essentially, one of the one of the cool things about this argument is that those posters are cool. <laughs> what a poster that always changes. That sounds awesome. This Diego guy sounds like a charmer. Ooh, first contact! Trioptimum, corporate grab. Okay, so the, the security alert is finally over, and there's really nobody around, which is nice. But the, the beautiful thing about these these redundant game mechanics is that you can kind of see what parts of a game are still modern. What what parts of this game are still relevant in some way. Oh, wow. There's a secret grenade launcher under here. Why, why did they have that there? This is like the ship quarters. Well, better drink all of my soda in my inventory so that I can hold a grenade launcher. And it's jammed. Of course it is. Oh, but it's got... Okay, so it uses fragmentation grenades as ammo. Oh, oh this, this door is a terrible door. And everything is falling apart around here. Uh-oh. Oh, he is... Okay, he's just... He's on the other side of the door. I wonder if I can, like, get some cheap shot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why did you go through the door? How does that... Oh my god! You're a genie demon! You're the worst, but I love you. I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to put you out of your misery. Okay, at least that works. Oh. And he went back from where he came through the door he was the greatest hybrid to ever live he rose higher than any other hybrid 
with his ability to phase through walls. Well, my heart's racing now. We'll just pretend like that didn't happen. All right, so we get a Psy upgrade unit. That is exactly what we need right now. So we haven't talked about this yet before I am about to do a whole bunch of stuff on accident and fly right through this. Okay, undo. So we buy this first tier neural capacity for eight units. We have seven left if you look down in the bottom of the screen. And so we can buy any of these powers for two uh, nano nuts total. So gonna we can grab cryokinesis, we can grab electronic tampering so that the cameras don't stay on us as long. I'm just gonna grab the cryokinesis because I'm not convinced I'll actually use all of the other ones. And while they are cheap, I'd rather help out boosting my psi powers. And then we can save the rest of them. Wow, they're just having a party down here. What a nice seating view. Just get to sit on a couch and look at the cosmos. The perks of being on a super exotic, crazy, faster than light space mission. Besides that you're already on the first ever faster than light space mission. You know, other than that. So apparently that was what that uh, older thing was talking about when it was saying that it was like a hacker's paradise. Have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. Okay, the glory of the many require your like they they want me to either assimilate or be destroyed. Pretty pretty classic kind of hive mind stuff. Uh, it seems like Xerxes, this uh, this ship's AI, has somehow formed this identity or cult or thing called the Many, which is what all of these hybrids are talking about over and over. Oh no, I was not not ready for that in time, and now I'm out of ammo. Oh, hello. There is they're just coming out of the woodworks for me now. I'm gonna have to find a. There we go. Perf. What do you mean? Oh, I don't have access to the system? Crap. Oh, and there's monkeys. I hear the monkeys. I just want to make a point right now that the sound design to this game is absolutely amazing and gorgeous, and I hate it so much. There we go. Okay. That was a little too much to handle. Oh, we don't have any codes for whatever this door is. Goddamn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the med side to subarmory again. Why would you do that? Up to deck four to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. What a horrible person. And why is there an a subarmory? on this level. Or why are there so many locked keypad doors when this is just a big spaceship? I mean, I guess it's staffed by hundreds of people so someone could get mischie mischievous, but you already have a ship's AI that's getting mischievous so that kind of went out the door. Although maybe there's another point to say, who's to say that all of these uh, guarded keypad doors are the same since the ship's AI is kind of going a little bonkers. Okay, so the person we were looking for is not in here, but they did have a R&D sector accessed card. Oh, thank you, honey, for giving us those, and then scolding us for not yet using them. I don't know. Passive-aggressive much? 
Okay, so it looks like these are kind of generic areas, but now we have the R&D card, which means we can hopefully head to the area where we go downstairs. So this is the audio file. Marie, I think it's speaking English. So we've got some backstory that we're kind of filling out that this ship landed on Tau Centauri 5, I believe is the name, for some reason. It was somehow compelled to do that, which is also the site of where the of Shodan exploded in System Shock 1, I believe. Oh, he's just a lover who wants to switch from the Rickenbacker ship to the Von Braun for his lady. Aww. More awesome art pieces. This is the coolest wall ever! Why don't these exist? Oh wait, it's called an iPad. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time on System Shock 2 on Rainy Day Let's Play.